Welcome back to another video. On this one, I'm gonna take you through the process on how I clean out pads. So after you polish or do paint correction, or even just apply a wax to your vehicle, you need to clean out your pads to make sure they're healthy for the long term. So in this bucket, I had about 16, 18 pads. I already started cleaning them, so I'm more than halfway done. But it was a two-step correction, so some of them are you know, for cutting and for polishing. Some were a lot worse than others, but they are definitely dirty and in need of a thorough cleaning because I need to get them ready for next time. Uh, so they're five inch and three inch pads. So I'll just take you through the process on what I do, how I dry them, what I've done in the past, and just other tidbits of information that you can pick up throughout the video. So let's go ahead and get this video started. Okay, so normally I would be inside in a, uh, over the sink to do this, but the video will come out yellow, so I'm gonna do it right here. Uh, so if this was a sink, I'd use like lukewarm water and just kind of run it over there. But this is just a hose, so it doesn't matter. And what you literally do is take your whatever cleaner you're going to use and just literally saturate it with APC. Whatever APC cleaner that is, it doesn't matter. This one here is super clean, they'll do the 10 to 1. But you can use whatever you want and literally just work it in. Uh, you can use a brush if you want, but I'm just going to use my hands here. But you can use like that dedicated brush for the pad cleaners. But this here works fine. And I don't 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 shy away from using the APC so you can really get inside there and clean it out. And you'll literally just do this. You can use a microfiber cleaner, like a like in a spray bottle. And then if there's a little leak here, so I'm holding it kind of funny. And then you just rinse it out. Ring it out, rinse it out, and I, I don't use this much water. It's a hose, so it's gonna be more water. But over a sink, it, it's you don't use that much water. It's not much of a mess, and it goes by quicker. Okay, and then you set that one aside. Let's grab a grab a foam foam one, rinse it down, and then kind of spray into the pad here. And then just massage it all out. Sometimes you want to gonna hold it, hold the cleaner, the the spray bottle right to it. Hopefully it's catching that, and it'll help loosen it all up. And then massage it out. No big deal. And then use your hose for a sink. Ring it out. And re reapply as necessary. Rinse out as much of that cleaner that you can, as you can. Like, I personally don't like using this much water. It kind of annoys me to just use this much water to clean a damn pad. So, you know, when you're using the sink, you don't use nowhere near as much water. It goes by quicker. Set that aside. Let's do a small three inch one. You get, I guess, you know, you know the point now. And honestly, like, I've tried a lot of methods, like using a pressure washer to rinse them down first, um, having a pad washer, using different types of pad washers that I don't remember what they're called. And honestly, like, I just keep on coming back to this method right here. If you had an air compressor to blow it out to dry, that's that would be even easier, like, once you're done washing them. But I just put them on the polisher, put it on speed 5 or 6, literally let it ring out for, like, 15 seconds. And they're basically completely dry at that point. Ring it out. Get both sides real quick. There we 
There we go. Okay, so next step after you've cleaned all of them out is just plug in your polisher. Whatever polisher you want, doesn't have to be anything specific. And you're gonna li line it up as per usual. You're gonna wanna get a towel. And I don't wanna get the camera wet, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to cover it, so or at least not pointing in that direction. But you're gonna turn it on on speed six or five. And you're literally just gonna let, let all the <laughs> out of my face. You're gonna let it wring out all the water by pressing it. Now you don't you're, you're gonna wanna hold it continuously. And it does help if you put the towel over it to not get splatter all over you. So it'll be something like this. And I only do it for a little bit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do it for a little bit like that so it should bring out some water. And then I'll probably like drop it. But the primary thing that I like to do is to uh, put a, a towel on it to dry it. And just like that, take it off here. And I want to say it's a strong, it's a strong like 75% dry. Good enough to where you can start, like you can, you can put polish back on it because you know, it's, it's just like, it's less than slightly damped. It's just, there's a little bit of, of, you can feel like moisture in there, but it's not wet. Like it's not wet anymore on this pad. So we'll do it again with a foam pad, line it up. And especially because I have the camera there, I'm holding it weird. If the camera wasn't there, I'd, it'd be, I'd go a lot quicker. So there. Oh, remember that one is just to get rid of the water that's in there. Then I'll go again and, and hold the towel down to the pad. Still flinging that water. And there we go. Again, slightly, slightly, slightly still less than damp. But I mean, it's basically like instead of like letting it air dry, doing this method here, in significantly increases or decreases the dry time and if you'd want to like really get it to where like you could get it to polishing again i mean just hold it there for a little a few more seconds to dry it out more but you should be you're, you're good to go just re, you know do what you got to do and get to work again boom and there we go that's it it's not much of a process again i've tried other things and i, I just keep on coming back to this method it really helps more when you're just at the sink and have them right there instead of using this hose grabbing it and all that jazz so that's going to end it right here do I look funny with these sunglasses? Forgot I was wearing them, but it is sunny outside. And these are from Roca. These are like super good, high quality. Ex um, like they, they really fit to your head, so you never have to worry about them flying off or anything. Um, anyways, just wanted to mention that. Anyhow, I'm gonna finish up uh, cleaning up this van here, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, concerns. If you have any advice on how you clean out pads, if it's any faster, any better, any any you know tips that you have for us go ahead and share them down in the comments below. All right, I'll see you in the next one.